Hi everybody. Hello, hello. Hope everybody is doing really good. I'm gonna wait a few minutes till people hop on. Hi guys. Hello friends. I wanted to come on here and go live for a little bit and chat with you guys before I do my Patreon live. Hi friends. I hope everybody's doing very good. How are you guys doing in this insane energy? It's getting serious. It's getting crazy. Um, but it feels good. Um, it like feels really bad and then really good. So it's like extremes. Everything is really extreme at this moment, I feel like. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm happy you guys enjoy my content. I don't even really like to take credit for it because most of the time it's not me. I'm just a vessel for information. So, let's see. Um, yesterday I received I think maybe like three or four downloads all at the same time of course all while I was in a spiritual bath or an energy cleansing bath because that's what I do that's where all the information comes to me um, if you haven't started doing those do them please do them your self will thank yourself <laughs> it is so important it is so worth it it's so beautiful um, the magic that happens for me when I'm in there is almost inexplainable so if you haven't started, please start. Uh, so let's see. So I wanted to touch a little bit on how you figure out your purpose, your soul purpose, why you're here. I think that is something that we always look for, whether we're on a spiritual path or not. That's something that we kind of come into the world and we're like, what the hell am I doing here? What is the point of this? We want it to make sense. Um, and so what I have learned is that purpose comes easy. What you're good at is your purpose. What you're good at is the stuff that you have practiced in many lifetimes, what you're drawn to, what you say, oh, I wish I could do that, but I don't know. Like personally for me, when I was growing up, when I was young, I hated school. I hated school so much but I really wanted to be a psychologist because I was fascinated with human behavior and the human mind. Um, but I could not ever imagine myself going through 10 plus years of college for a piece of paper so that I can sit down and talk to people about their problems. That was crazy for me. So I kind of wrote that off immediately because I'm not doing that. I'm not doing school. Um, and now it's funny because what I do is really I'm kind of like a therapist, uh, but on a very higher level, I feel like. So naturally for me, I already gravitated towards this. So what you have to think about is what have you always wanted to do? What do you feel very drawn to? Is it art? Make art. Don't worry about how many other people are making art. It doesn't matter. They're not you. Um, this is your experience, this is your reality, and you can make anything happen for you. So don't worry about them. It's almost like they, other people are there or the distraction is there just to test you, just to see if you're gonna push through and do it anyways, no matter what anyone else is doing. It doesn't matter. Um, in the new earth, well, in, people always say the new earth, and I don't mind calling it that. I like calling it that, but really, in reality, it is a shift in consciousness. So when you elevate your consciousness, when everyone elevates their consciousness, that's when we live in the new world, right? That's when we live in the new earth because when we change, everything changes. So when I say in the new earth, um, it will appear that we're still in the same place, but this place is better. It will feel completely different and that happens almost overnight. You start to feel different almost overnight. And so when I say the new earth, I mean the fifth dimension of consciousness. So in the fifth dimension of consciousness or in the new earth, there are different jobs that maybe did not exist, let's say in 3D. In 3D, you have to have a piece of paper, you have to go to college, you have to be in debt forever um, to do cool things. 
there are a lot of us that have said fuck you to that system a long time ago. Like personally for me, I started working for myself, I would say maybe nine years ago. I did a bunch of stuff, stuff that had nothing to do with this, but I was over it. And so a lot of us have been over it and we have felt called to say fuck you to the system a while ago. But in the new earth, in the new fifth dimension of consciousness, there are many jobs that did not exist before. For example, I did a star seed, reading, star seed reading today with someone and I saw that she was a divine doula, which is like, I've never seen anything like that. I've seen doulas before. I've seen like natural birth specialists and that's super cool. I love that. That's definitely in alignment with new earth, but the whole aspect of bringing divinity into it, of bringing, um, psychic gifts and channeling into that experience that is something that i don't really think exists right now but it existed in atlantis it existed in egypt so these are the types of things that are coming back for us to do and they are not coming back as something that's really popular they're coming back through us it's for us to feel and know oh i should do this thing i feel like i really want to do this thing and then we do it and then it becomes popular and then other people start doing it and then other people will begin to shift along with us but that's why people say the earth is the new earth is happening through us it is not happening outside of us it's coming from within so pay attention to what you like pay attention to what you love what makes you happy i think a lot of uh star seeds and a lot of young people have no passion and no desire for anything they're bored they don't want to work uh, for example, my youngest sister, I think she's 26 or 27. She's had one job. She hates working. She's bored. She doesn't want to do it. And luckily she has um, my parents to take care of her. So she doesn't really have to do much, but she has no purpose. She has no desire. And I know that's because she is like one of these new people and she's living in an old system. And so she's like, fuck this. I don't want to do this. And I feel badly for her because she looks at herself and thinks, oh, I'm useless. Why do I have no passion? Why do I not want to do anything? Why do I not want to get a job? Uh, be an esthetician or um, what is it? What is she thinking about going to school for? A medical assistant. And in my mind, I'm like, don't fucking do that. Please don't fucking do that. Don't do that. It sucks. Don't do that. But I can't tell her that, right? Because she's on her own journey. Uh, but there are like these new people or people just like us. We're like, we don't, we don't want to be a part of this crappy system. And that's not a bad thing. It doesn't mean that you're dysfunctional or there's something wrong with you. It's beautiful. It's a symptom of being different, of not belonging in a shitty world. So it's a good thing. Uh, let's see if I can get some channeled information. You have to declare to yourself that you are ready for your divine purpose and then it will show up and it's not going to show up and slap you in the face. That's not how it works most of the time. Um, it is, there's always little hints. There's little things everywhere. Let's say you declare to yourself and to your guides and to the universe. I am ready. I'm ready to do this thing. I am ready. I don't know what it is, but I'm ready. So please bring it my way. It will come. For example, someone will approach you and say, oh my gosh, you're so blah, blah, blah. You're so good at this thing. Thank you for helping me in this way. Why don't you do blah, blah, blah. And then know that that is a sign from your guides. Know that that is the little, the little push that you need and go further into that thing. If you have a hobby, if you like doing something, post it, share about it. Social media is like keeping us going right now. Without social media, we would not have found each other. So start waving your flag so that other people like you can see it and can support you. Um, we are all in this together. So today, if you want to, after this, go look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm ready for my purpose. I want to do this. Please guide me, help me. I'm open, I'm ready. And it will come. It will show itself. It always does. Never once will you ask for help and your guides don't help you. Sometimes the help looks like no help. 
because you've already figured it out. Or the help looks like just wait and watch. Everything will work out by itself. And it always does. It always does. Even when we worry, even when we stress out a few weeks down the line, that thing doesn't even matter anymore. And it has worked itself out magically. That's how it works. Um, that is the divine neutrality. That is the faith and knowing that everything is going to work out. Let's see if they will give me any more information on divine purpose at this moment. It's easy. They want you to know that it's easy. It's not hard. It's not supposed to be hard. Um, if you are punching yourself in the head trying to figure out what's your divine purpose, you're doing it wrong. Stop trying so hard. Stop stressing out about it. You're not going to find anything in stress besides more stress. So sit with yourself. Say, what do I like? Your brain will answer you. Write it down. What, do, what makes me happy? Write it down. What do I look at? What do I scroll and look at all day on social media that I like to look at? There you go. But do something, you know? Do something as far as when it shows up, act on it. Share. Share who you are. Share what you do. Share what you love. There's other people like you. There is so many people. So many. So that means there are a lot of people that are going to be interested in what you do, that are going to think you're talented. So go for it. Do the thing. Let's see if they have any closing messages. Um, everybody is in the right spot at the right time. I know a lot of you guys feel lost right now or empty or void. When that void happens, when that lost feeling happens, when you feel empty inside, you are shifting. You're shifting so fast that your energy and your light body almost can't keep up with the shift. So part of you is here, part of you is there, and that's why you feel empty sometimes. But that emptiness will subside. Just know that. <sighs> okay, guys, this has been a beautiful little chat. I'm going to head over to my Patreon to do my live. If you guys want to join me there, you can sign up. The link is in my bio, and I think it's on my story also. Uh, love you guys. I will talk to you soon. Have a good night. Bye.